Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create and post a prepayment in code. Uh, let's look at prepayment. Prepayment is a functionality in purchase order. This is the purchase order form or purchase order. We have a prepayment here. When you click, a, a dialog will open and this is the prepayment table actually. When you fill this one and save, then when you uh, post uh, the your your prepayment uh, invoice is posted. So uh, I want to create this prepayment uh, invoice uh, in uh, in code. I don't want to use uh, this uh, form uh, because we have uh, some uh, approval functionality uh, in one of our customer. So let's look at uh, the code. Uh, code is here. Uh, the, the, first of all, uh, we need to create a pre uh, purge prepay table uh, record. Uh, in this record, uh, prepay category ID is important. I delete this one. This is a dummy uh, value. You should uh, find your proper category ID. And most important parts are these three parts. Value is the uh, posted uh, amount. So if you want to uh, post, for example, 100, you need to put this value to value field. Uh, prepay limit is uh, limit for this prepay, uh, this this field. This is the prepay remaining. If you have, uh, for example, if you have limit 500 and you pay uh, 100, then you you have 400 left. So uh, if you want to create uh, more uh, prepayment invoices, uh, you can add like this. If we have a prepayment record, we are creating a new one. If we have, uh, we are uh, updating the value and we are calling these two calculation uh, met methods for updating prepay limit and prepay uh, available fields. Then we are using the standard perform letter functionality to post invoices. But the important one, this invoice type is vendor advance. Uh, so this is a prepayment uh, invoice. Then we are calling update method. Uh, and uh, like this, we are uh, creating a new prepayment uh, for our purchase order. I hope it, uh, it's helping. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Ducks.